11 for you. Bowling Green City Schools held a special meeting tonight to discuss what is next in the quest of a new high school building. Voters denied a request for money in November. Chase Bachman was at that meeting. So Chase, what's next? Well, Mel Jeff, the board still says it needs a new high school building, and that could mean voters will see it back on the ballot this year. So until you get the community, the city to say we're going to control the city schools, this is going to be a recurring issue. BG City Schools Superintendent Francis Scrucci said people have made excuse after excuse, voting down any proposal for a new high school building to replace one that's become outdated and problematic. Obviously, it was heartbreaking. Uh, it's not something that we can continue to, to push down the road. Uh, we know that. And so... Um, this is us trying to, to rebound from that. The school board discussed what kind of proposal they think voters would approve, how long the project would take, and how much it would cost. We've talked before about state funding um, and partnering with OFCC. I, I would imagine that would get discussed. Uh, and then looking at maybe what the way we finance a bond issue. Um, I, I would imagine all those things will get, will get discussed tonight. Board member Ginny Stewart says the community just hasn't been invested enough to move the issue forward. Let's call it for what it is. Nobody cared enough. Nobody cared enough. But board president Ryan Myers says a new high school or even elementary buildings would be huge for the district. It's almost like our buildings are on hospice. And um, to be able to, to pass something, this is something that, that, that needs to be a win for all of us. Now the board is scheduled to meet again on the 17th when they could approve an official request for a quote. Reporting live in studio tonight, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.